Okay guys, we got a train coming. I saw it come through Thompson, rode up the road about 15 miles, catch it here, get in our little city of Harlem. It's not going real fast, but it looks like a pretty long train. And zoom up on it a little bit. Bunch of coal cars here. Steel cars, hoppers. More hoppers. Nice tanker. Coal cars here, a bunch of those. There's a huge tanker right here. 30,000 gallon tankers right here. That's pretty huge. More tankers. Try to get a look at that graffiti a little bit. Nice tanker there. Brand new car there. Some of them old cars, you'd get 70 years of use out of them. Look at all these tankers right here. 30,000 gallon tankers right there. A gasoline tanker holds about 9,000 gallons, so some of these tankers hold over three times more. So that's kind of interesting offers there. Another coal car. That's pretty. There's more tankers right there. Like 23, 23,000 something gallon tanker there, smaller one. she goes wasn't going that fast it was pretty easy to catch up with her this time oh, it's a pretty Walmart truck Getting ready for springtime I guess yeah this is a pretty little town right here we've been here before and it's got a mural of Oliver Hardy and, and we got a tower up here Oliver Hardy was born here in Harlem. And 
this is important right here on this metal uh, box here which operates no doubt the uh, train mech which is the arms on the uh, uh, train mechanism that stop the traffic that says why uh, YYG 2459, 2459, which means that's mile marker 2459. Thompson is mile marker um, about 30, 35. That truck there's got a placard on it. for a train. That was a short one. Yeah, it's real early for a train here. Well, it's not that great because it's early morning. Here we have a train coming. It's creeping. All right, zoom all the way out. As the engineer conducted waving, that was nice. Look how slow we're going right here. Just creeping. It's, that's good. Most time they're coming through here about 40 miles an hour. Evidently, he's probably slowing down because uh, of another train. You really get a good look at the graffiti right here. <clears throat> There's a train on down the track this way, I know, because I heard it uh, on the radio traffic that it was down there. And this guy here, I don't know if that's Pano or, or what that is, but you see him all over the place. I think he's all over the country, the Pano. Or am I pronouncing that right? Sorry if I'm not. But. <clears throat> We're almost coming to a stop right here. But there must be another train coming. Sometimes they have to wait or they'll allow another train to go through. And he's gonna come to a stop. What's up, man? I was trying to find you to tell you there's a train. <laughs> oh, that what that is? That's a train. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Whether he's going to get on the second, he's going to get on that secondary track or not.
Yep, he has come to a stop. Yeah, he's waiting for, evidently, for another train. And, uh, That's two tracks right here. So that's a live track? Yeah, what happens is like... Uh, <gasps> it hasn't gone a horn yet, but you can hear that choom, 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 choom. No? Yeah. Notice how far these uh, these cars will move. Uh, that's, this is one reason why these cars are so dangerous. If you get in between them... Oh, they'll cut you in half. It's not, it's not just that, though. It's like when, when they stop, you can have as much as eight feet um, of a gap between all of these cars together. Here he comes, listen. That is another train. Yeah, I think one has to come on this to let this one go by. And that's what they do. But you can really see the graffiti on these. Hit, that's another train coming because he's further away. He's on, he's over, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jerk. Yes. <laughs> you saw that jerk, did you? Yes. Now, if you were standing against that and all of those, that slack came out of it, it would break Knock your spine. It would break your spine. So, this is pretty right here. Look at that. That's my favorite character too, right there. A little Martian. Yeah, a little Martian guy. I love him to death. Might be they, they do some weird stuff on these. A lot of those are tags right there on the other. These are all tags right here. Tags. It's their way of uh, writing down their name and and they'll sign it to this larger graffiti that you see. Well, this guy right here, I see him all over the place. He's got that weird cat looking thing. Now, we, had, we saw this one before. I showed you this one. Yeah, you showed me that one before. I don't know what she's eating, but that Pano, that guy, he's always on, he's everywhere. Evidently, the other train's gotten off the track somewhere on the side track like this to let him go by. Now, they, these can go from zero to 60 in 45 seconds. Yeah, it sounded empty. Notice how he's picking up speed, those three cats. These are all hoppers, like gravel cars and stuff like that. And these are gravel cars right here, quarry cars. See the hubs on these? You got two hubs on each. We well, got four hubs. In Harlem, they got a they got a, a computer that will read each hubs, the heat of it, let you know if it's getting too hot. They're usually 
usually going at least 49, 50 miles per hour at normal speed. These are, look how big these box cars are. Look at that tanker there. That tanker right there on the end, that holds 34,000 gallons. Now I wonder if that other one's gonna come through here. I got a feeling it should. Yeah, there's some big rocks in some of those cars right there. Most of those gravel cars coming from the quarry. Okay, guys, a little foggy today, and I heard a train, which I expected about 30 minutes ago, but that's the way the trains are. Yeah. I warn our bandits are coming down and the train should be coming around this corner right here. And here she comes. Let's see what kind of train we got today. What kind of car? Coming around the bend. some of that graffiti there. feet if you follow it a little bit it'll turn out a lot better when you freeze frame it these are all hopper cars right here maybe these are rock quarry cars especially blue with a black with a rock quarry these cars look brand new you can tell here. That's an old one there. Some of these cars can last uh, 70 years. Can you believe that? Some of these cars can last 70 years. So our mechanism arm going up. Yeah, I was waiting for that one about 
uh, 30 minutes ago. Okay, guys, it's about 27 degrees out here, and we got a train coming. Yeah, here she comes. Got a full magnification, about 8 power on a Samsung 7 phone. Notice you cannot hear this train coming. That's why it's dangerous to play around with train tracks. Now you hear traffic signal. Now this is at the distance here. Let me get out of the road here. cannot hear that thing coming that's just the engine that's how quiet the engines are on these diesels you can hear it you know the track sounding and all of that stuff and you can hear the horn but just listening for that diesel engine coming if there's no traffic signals there's no traffic signals here to to uh, go off and start dinging, you're not going to hear that train. So, like, if you're in the middle of nowhere and there's no uh, intersections for the train to, to blow its horn, then uh, you're just not going to hear it. So, that thing was unbelievably quiet all the way till it got to me when it got almost right at me. Then, um, you could hear it, but a lot of the sound you're hearing is from the tracks kind of rattle a little bit, you know, and the wheels clinking on the tracks. But from a distance, you just won't hear that train. And I think that's very interesting because you can be playing around on a track, which it's illegal to do that, to play around on the track. Because people do get run over by trains 